Hi everyone, we've got another episode today of STEM Sundays with Emily. Thanks so much again for tuning in. I promised this activity today would also be themed with March and I can't wait to tell you what it is we're doing. So we're just gonna jump right into to what it is today. So today we're going to be making a rainbow and the science concept behind the rainbow that we're going to be building today is capillary action. So this is involving water and how it travels on different objects and in this case we're going to be using paper towels to show how water works. So this is actually teaching us a little bit about when water interacts with today paper towels but you can think about this with other materials too. Actually how water can climb certain objects it looks like but this is just one of the properties of water that makes it really such an amazing material. So we're going to be making a rainbow using paper towels, some food coloring, and some water. So again, very simple materials. And I only had to find this at my local store, but some of you parents might have this in your cupboards already from baking or different types of craft activities. So in terms of materials, we're going to need, I'm gonna be using five clear plastic cups. And it's very key that they're clear because we're dealing with different colors and we wanna make sure we can see exactly what's in the cup. So it doesn't matter what size, I think these are 10 ounce cups and these are perfectly fine for the activity that we're doing. So five, you could use three, you could use more than that, um, but you want it to be an even number. You'll see why when we get into building the activity. So today, five clear plastic cups. They also could be glass, but I figured plastic was more kid friendly. Next, some food coloring. You're going to need for this project today, using five cups, three different colors. So I chose, it's a pretty uh, generic color pack, just your primary colors and green included. So I'm gonna be using red, yellow, and blue today to create our rainbow. But again, at home, feel free to do any type of color variation you want, but you do want them to be substantially different in color. So you wouldn't want to use um, say orange, red, and pink or yellow. Um, this activity is showing how water travels and in doing so how colors are made as well. So you want to make sure that the colors are different enough so that we can see the color changes happening. Uh, second, well I guess third <laughs> if I could count, we need some popsicle sticks or just a spoon. We're going to be using these just to stir in the food coloring. Um, the activity, I first tried using a spoon and forgot to clean it off before I switched from my yellow um, into my red, and so it kind of contaminated the colors. So I figured we have some leftover popsicle sticks from a previous activity. This way I'll use a different popsicle stick stirring each color so that I know that I'm not contaminating the colors and the activity turns out exactly like we want it to. And lastly, we're going to need some paper towels. So if you're using five cups, you're going to need four paper towels. Um, and I also picked up some extras because we are playing with water. Um, I always like to include some extra paper towels just because you never know what's gonna happen and it's better to be safe than sorry in terms of spillage. So those are the materials that we're going to be using today. And let's get into building this activity. So I'm gonna move some of our things to the side and we're going to start with our cups. So you're going to need five cups. There we go. Here are five cups. And this is important because, so all of these activities I usually try and practice before I do the video so that I'm giving you um, all the little tips and tricks behind this. I actually messed up this activity the first time I tried it. So make sure that you uh, do this one instruction. If anything, this is the most important one to follow. So every other cup, so the first, the middle, and the last, we're going to fill with water. So. Here we go, we're gonna fill this three cups. So every other cup you're gonna fill with water, not every cup, which is what I did the first time, but every other cup. And you're going to want them filled, I, I think at least halfway is best for this activity. You could fill it up the whole way, um, but you definitely want at least half of whatever cup you're using to be full of water. So now that we have our first, middle, and last cups filled with water, now it's time to get out our food coloring. 
So like I said, we're going to be using today in this video, red, yellow, and blue. And this is something that parents or teachers, um, this did stain my fingers actually when I tried this. I accidentally um, got some of the red on my fingertips and it did stain it a tiny bit. So you might wanna do this instead of having kids do it on their own. But we're going to drop two drops of the food coloring in each. So this cup I'm doing blue on the very end. The middle cup is going to be yellow. One, two. And our first cup or last cup, depending on how you're looking at it, is going to be red. Two drops as well. All right, perfect. So now that we've got our two drops in each, cup. I'm going to get my popsicle sticks and stir these up a little bit. Uh, the blue, as you can see, kind of um, mixed itself already, but the red and the yellow, we got to do a little mixing. So I'm going to use one of our paper towels just to put these wet popsicle sticks on. And again, like I said, feel free to use a spoon or some sort of utensil. For me, it didn't work. <laughs> I forgot to wipe it off. Um, but if you do use a utensil or the same type of mixing utensil for all of these, make sure that you wipe it off in between. We don't want to mix our colors up too soon. So this way, using our popsicle sticks, left over, bam, now we have our three colors mixed up. Perfect. And this we can just throw in the garbage. So next, as part of this activity, we're going to take paper towels. So in order to create the rainbow, this is going to be a rainbow across, we're going to have to connect these cups. So again, like I said, this activity is showing how water moves and how it can seem like it's climbing an object or moving through an object. So I'm sure um, if you guys at home, if you've spilled something and you, you go to put a paper towel on it, you'll see that it quickly absorbs the water and it actually, even though you might have a very small spill on your paper towel, it's going to absorb and become such a big, fill up a lot of the paper towel. So this activity shows you how water moves through paper towel and how it becomes absorbed and actually can seem like it's walking or moving its way through the paper towel. So to do that, we're going to make little arches connecting each of the cups. So we have our first middle and last cups filled with water. These two cups are not filled with water, but the idea behind this is that when we connect these via paper towel arches, that the water from our red cup, since it's connected to our uh, second cup, the water will transfer from the red cup through the paper towel and into the empty cup. So it'll actually start filling this cup up. And when we connect all of them, we should be able to be mixing our red and yellow and form an orange cup and our yellow and blue to form a green cup. So let's sh show you guys how that happens. So we're going to take, I just have a paper towel and I folded it into a rectangle shape. And then we're going to form basically like a V, an upside down V. So fold it in half, that's all I did. So now we have a, a little bit of a, a V shape and you're going to stick it one side in the red and the other side in the empty cup. So we're gonna do that for the next two, the next two, and the next two. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four paper towels. And again, you can do this with, if you wanted to just do the red and yellow cups, it's gonna be the same. If you wanted to make it a longer rainbow and maybe use um, I don't know if you wanted to repeat it, use another red cup here um, to create purple, that would be fun. Then you could definitely add on, but you're just going to need to add on the number of paper towels you're using as well. So I'll add this one in. Perfect. We've got this one folded here. And my last paper towel got away from me. Here we go, another V. Last one in the blue and the empty cup. So 
But as you can see, all of our cups now are connected. The red goes into the empty cup, the yellow goes into the empty cup, the yellow also goes into this empty cup between the blue, and the blue empties into this. So you might be able to see, um, I don't know if I can move these closer to the camera, but you can see here in the red, there's actually some pink coloring, some red that's already made its way up the paper towel. So using the colors of the water isn't just another way to see clearly exactly how the water is moving and how fast the water is able to move. And then eventually you'll see the water collecting in the empty cups. So this activity does take a little bit of time to actually get the final result, but I think it's fun to check in on it every 15, 20 minutes and see how fast the water is moving and how far down the paper towel or even into the cup, how fast that's happening. So I'm actually gonna move this, I will move this closer for you guys, carefully somehow, because I did do a setup um, here at work probably about an hour ago, just so you could see exactly how this activity is supposed to work. I think the best results are if you wait overnight, maybe do it after dinner, a nice after dinner craft, and then wait overnight and check on it in the morning, because that should be give you enough time to see the actual final results. And there should be some water collected in your cup and hopefully give you that rainbow action. So I'm gonna move these carefully without staining my fingers off to the side. There we go. Okay, so those are still working their way. Just kind of bent it into a, a rainbow now. So here is the setup that I did just about an hour ago to show you what's happened. So as you can see, hopefully, there's water that has been collected in this cup. So let me turn it around. I think that'll show you the, the middle cups a little bit more. So as you can see, we have water that's collected in this cup, and it's about an orange color. You, you can see that the red, the paper towels actually are all colored at this point, and you can see that they're starting to transfer some water. That one's really green, look at that. They're starting to transfer the water and the color along with it into the neighboring cups. So you've got a nice little rainbow it actually is cute in this little arc shape, so it does look like a rainbow. And this has only been an hour, so as you can see, there's probably, I mean, less than a quarter inch, half an inch of water that's collected in here, but that's only an hour. So if you do this and check on it every hour, and then, like I said, overnight, eventually they should even out almost in water level between all five cups. So even though we started with water only in three of them, they should actually reach um, a similar level of water in all five cups. And this is through that, that term capillary action of water moving through the paper towels. So I can't wait to hear how this goes for you guys. I think this is a pretty simple activity. It is going to take some time to watch, but I think there's a lot of fun in that. And if you decide to add on more cups, I'd love to hear how that goes and what um, other colors you can use but I thought the rainbow was perfect connecting back to our clouds and in time for St. Patrick's Day. You know, leprechauns hide their pots of gold at the end. So just in time for um, St. Patrick's Day and connecting back to March and our springtime clouds, I thought this activity would be really fun and teach you a little bit about science and water, one of the most important elements really in the world. So enjoy this activity. And again, we're going to have another surprise activity next week, and I hope you guys enjoy that one too. So have a great one and enjoy this STEM Sundays with Emily activity today. Bye.